And tonight, a holiday homecoming that we just had to bring you. Little Kensley Penny of North Carolina had only two things on her list for Santa. The three-year-old wanted a blue truck and her daddy, who's been serving in Afghanistan since March. And even though Christmas is still weeks away, her wish has just come true. Kensley's dad, Sergeant Scott Penny, will be able to spend 18 days with his family. Our Rebecca Medina joins us now live from Tampa International Airport, where it all went down earlier today. Good evening, Rebecca. Good evening, Wendy. I have to say that I've covered a lot of these reunions as a journalist, many right here at Tampa International Airport, but this one was really special for me. It's the first time in a long time that I have personally been brought to tears and this particular reunion and you'll see why actually gave me chills okay i don't see her carol howard anxiously waited at the gate to the american airlines terminal at tampa international airport counting the minutes before she'd see her daughter's face before she'd hold her again for the first time in 16 months there she is then the doors to the shuttle opened, and out came the young woman Carol calls a scrapper, Private First Class Cassandra Lewis, and Carol couldn't wait any longer. After 16 months of emails and phone calls, this mom really knows her baby is okay. And for the soldier's little brother who's following in her footsteps, this moment is his reassurance he's making the right decision as he deals with being deployed in December. You ready to go home? Then in the midst of the tears, the relief, and the joy, came the voice of an angel. Because listen to the song they're playing. But where was the voice coming from? Nine-year-old Aliyah Ocasio, the granddaughter of a Korean War veteran, told me that was the least she could do to say, welcome home, soldier. She's helping our country and all that. And I'm really proud of that, and I like that. But before I joined the Army and before I deployed, it, it was a song like, you know, it was our national anthem. But then once you, once you truly fight for it and you, you do lose battle buddies and you do, you do go through some rough times in war, then you, you learn to, you, the song means so much more. So much more to this family of soldiers whose sacrifice can truly never be repaid. And Private First Class Lewis is not done just yet. She'll be redeployed in January. This time she'll be headed to Afghanistan. Her baby brother will be headed to Iraq in December. Their mom tells me that the next year or so is going to be filled with a lot of worry and a lot of fear, but she said mostly with a lot of pride. We're live at Tampa International Airport tonight. Rebecca Medina, ABC.
This East Central High School student is a reporter in training. So just a few questions. Um, you can just look at me while okay. we're having the interview, just like me and you are having a conversation. Cassandria Alvarado coaches her subject, Associate Principal Stacy Pfizer, on what to expect during the interview. Good morning, everybody. The journalism student is working on a project, talking to teachers as well as her peers. Awesome, thank you so much. And through training, journalists learn to share all things secret. When you make a memory, it never goes away. But Cassie's parents lovingly have learned the art of keeping quiet. I didn't want to tell anyone. Which I'm sure was really hard for her. You see, the patriarch of the Bauer family has been in Afghanistan since July. The Air Force flight paramedic was on a sixth deployment overseas. I just got back a couple weeks ago. Uncle Sam gave all three Bowers an early holiday gift. Next year. It was nice to uh, get back home uh, to my family. How has that enhanced your high school career? On this special day, this inquisitive student is the only person in this room to be completely clueless, including the fact that the school's mascot reveals her father is safe for more. Oh my gosh, all right, what's your answer? <laughs> The school's principal led the way for the homecoming. I'm going to be honest with you. This was planned before Thanksgiving, as you know. Yeah. They were coming out to video you, to video in the kids. Did they really surprise you? Yes. I didn't think you would be home until my graduation. I'm like so, this is so crazy. But now, oh Dad is home for Christmas. Oh, 
Life, literally. That is true. I did threaten somebody with pens.